Hi, in today's video, I will be converting my quill threaded stem into a threadless stem so I could get more options for reach and height. And I will be using a profile threaded stem adapter. For this project, here are the tools and parts that I'll be using. I have a set of Allen keys, the profile adapter, I have a short stem, I have some Loctite blue thread locker medium strength, and some Tax carbon assembly paste. These quill stems typically only have one bolt, so I'm gonna have to remove this bolt and, and I can't just pull it out. You have to slide it out of the handlebar, so I need to remove this, undo the shifter, loosen it up, the brake, the grip, and I'm gonna take the mirror off because I figured it might be a little easier than taking off the speedometer. All right, so I have a four millimeter Allen there for the shifters, a five millimeter for the brake lever, and a three millimeter on the outside to remove this mirror. The grips also have a two and a half millimeter Allen key that needs to be used to loosen the grips. I also had to remove the right side of the handlebar because in order to slide it out, I had to loosen the brake lever and rear shifter. And now we could use a six millimeter hex bolt to remove the stem. This one's actually pretty easy to remove. You just use the six millimeter Unwind it and the stem should come right out. Okay, it's time to see the weight penalty. So I'll start with the uh, Ibis Titanium Quill Stem. Comes in at 221 grams, uh, let's say 220. The stem adapter alone is 174 grams. So then I add my tiny stem and it goes up to 276 grams. So that's only about 56 gram weight penalty. And just to show you how heavy this little stem riser adapter is, it's 175 grams. And I'll compare that with my Easton EC70 carbon handlebar, which is not resting on anything, and show you that that's only 126 grams. So here's what it looks like to have a short stem on the stem adapter. There's a little room for movement. However, you could also push the stem adapter further into the fork if necessary to gain some height or reduce the stack height. Now here's a look at the threads for the stem adapter and I'm going to go ahead and use some blue Loctite thread locker and put it along this thread here. This is definitely a part where you don't want it to come loose while you're riding and just a little application and as you tighten it down, it'll probably put the thread locker throughout the threads. Because this cap is wider than the top of this, I'm gonna go ahead and stick my stem on here first. Now I just put the top cap, just slid it in basically. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and thread it in by using this side and going to twist it on. Even though my fork inside is not carbon, do this part at your own risk. Go ahead and remove the cap here and put some assembly paste along this area and some on here. And it is kind of like sand a little bit, so it should stick and hold the adapter in the fork a little better. Okay, and now I'll go ahead and slide the stem adapter into your fork and notice that I didn't have to do anything with the uh, bottom bracket. I just went ahead and just left the settings the way they were. Keep note of where this minimum insertion area is and make sure you put it to a minimum at least that deep. Using your six millimeter Allen key, go ahead and tighten the stem adapter to the fork and it's not directional as quill stems are because you have the stem here which you could rotate later so I could just tighten this and the front wheel could move left and right and it'll still be okay. Now would also be a good time to consider taking these bolts out. There should be six of them on this stem and reapplying Loctite to them. Well, I didn't keep track but the front of the stem have different sized bolts so I have to figure out which ones are top and bottom and these are the ones that clamp to the stem riser. Go ahead and use your 
thread locker and apply a little bit on, clean out the threads and apply a little drop or two on the ends. To clean them out, I just stick them on the end of the Allen key and use a paper towel or a cloth and then go ahead and wipe them out real good. And if you really wanted to, you could use a parts cleaner or degreaser to clean out the bolts more, but I'm not going to. The paper towel is sufficient for me. After applying thread locker, go ahead and reinstall the stem bolts. I'm actually going to reassemble my shifters, brake levers, and maybe even the grips and put it back on the handlebar before I install the front part of the stem. After sliding on the brakes and the uh, shifters, you can slide them on loosely if you like to. Go ahead and install the front of the stem. Also, don't forget around this area where the stem is going to hold onto the bar, if you do have carbon bars, go ahead and use some carbon assembly paste. Or for simplicity's sake, you could go ahead and just put the paste in here, here, and also in here, and then just kind of move the bar around to spread it out. Well, go ahead and tighten everything down, and especially all the bolts, the grips. Feel free to put the mirror back in if you have one. Make sure this top cap bolt is still remains tight, and you can push down on the handlebar a few times and make sure this is tight assembly as well, and you could try moving the bars while putting your feet between the front wheels to make sure there's no play there either. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up below and consider subscribing if you have not already. Thank you very much for watching if you did get this far, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And as always, has a most wonderful day. Thanks.